Good Tuesday evening, everyone. Thanks for joining me. Um, I've been AWOL for the last little while. Um, and I've been asked by a few of my wonderful friends and group members and uh, YouTube followers if I was going to come back and do videos. And yes, I am. Uh, for those of you who follow, I have been renovating uh, the other side of our basement, which used to be my studio, because um, my daughter and her family are moving in for six to seven months while their house is being built. So they're moving in at the end of November, so we had to lift rug. Uh, I painted almost all the rooms. I just have the bathroom to paint. Um, <clears throat> I'm sanding down the butcher block countertop to refinish. Uh, we lifted all the rugs, so now now next, after all that's done, then we will lay the new flooring down for them. And then I have to do the guest bedroom upstairs. I'm going to paint because that's where her and her husband will sleep. And my baby boys, my grandbaby boys, will be in the bigger bedroom down here. That being said, my videos will have to be, once they move in, I'll start doing them in the afternoons which is different for me um but i'd probably wake them if i was in here um screwing up <laughs> anyway so tonight what we're doing because i've got to get some catching up to do <clears throat> i'm doing some christmas boards but these are going to be full trays okay and the reason being is because they're on bamboo. These are boards that I've had for a while. I've taped the backs. Uh, they're on bamboo. And with bamboo, you can't really, even though they sell them and advertise them as cutting boards, you can't because bamboo is such a soft, fine, splitting wood that uh, the minute you cut on it, you're cutting into the wood and putting that um, on your food for one, for two, if you resin on bamboo, if you try to just resin an area, bamboo bleeds. The resin will bleed into the bamboo and that is so hard to get off. So I am doing the whole thing. It's going to be uh, served a serving tray, both of them. Uh, the little hooks that are on the top, I'm going to spray paint gold because the colors I'm using tonight are the deep red that I made up by Langridge from Langridge. I'm using green onyx from Color Passion because it's a beautiful sparkly green. And I'm using, where did I put it? Right here. Soft gold. Soft gold by Color Passion. So what I'm doing is I'm going to do a marble effect so it's subtle. One in green with the red and the gold as the marble and one in red with the green and the gold as the marble. And then I am going to be putting these two vintage, because you know how I love vintage, pictures on. So I have had to mod podge both sides of this. And then they will go on when this cures and before I do a clear coat over top of that. And what else I'm doing tonight, but I won't bore you with it because you've already seen me do the Maj Posh is I'm making some little to go on the Christmas tree to match my um, sets that I did. Um, so I Maj Podge the one side. I'll put the picture on it and Maj Podge over that. But like I said, I won't bore you with that. And then I have some Christmas boards I got to get at that my resin guy, or my guy my wood guy made me that I'm excited about too so okay let's get started down here I hope you are all well I'm sorry that I did not ask but I do I hope you are both you are both for the two of you that are watching <laughs> I hope you're all well you know I do I hope you're staying safe um, wherever you are I hope your weather is good we have had snow out west 
where some of you are. We have, we're, I'm hearing we're getting snow up north and knock on wood, we have had none yet. Um, I love the first snow, I really do, but if it can wait until December and we can have a white Christmas, I'd be in my glory. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this one over here. Can you guys see it all? Yeah, basically. Okay, I'm gonna start with this one over here and we're gonna make it green. And I'm gonna save some green to be the base for that one. I'm just going to This was a powder, green powder, and I can see that it didn't all break up for me. There's a hunky bit right there. Oh, no, it was part from the cup, huh? Okay, so I'm gonna use my hand and I'm gonna spread this out. The edges will not be as nice done on a bamboo board because it wants to run right off the bamboo, but that's okay because I'm going to um, gold leaf the edges when I put the Christmas Santa on it. I will gold leaf the edges and then I can do the second coat, the clear coat, right over top of that. Well, that green's kind of Transparency. Okay, let's leave that for a second, see what I can do with that. I may have to use all that green and make up some more. Okay, so let's just see. We'll see where this goes. Let's do the red. Leave some, see now the red's better. The red is a solid, a very opaque. I never noticed that that green was more of a transparent. So I think I definitely need to make up more. This is such, such a beautiful deep red. This is the language powders that uh, I had brought in from Artie Sue. But now Artie Sue has retired and we cannot get these. If anyone knows where we can order language, so if anybody asks me, I can tell them. Uh, because even, I know, I don't think we have a Canadian distributor of the language. Um, but if anybody knows where, who's carrying the language, uh, please let me know. Because they have some gorgeous colors. Okay, so I am going to use... The last of this green here and I'll make up some more because luckily I left some resin because that I don't mind like I said the edge is not covered because I'm going to gold leaf both of them anyway but so I'll make up a little bit more actually I have some right here so let's just use this for the design like I said I'm gonna marble these so 
this and this and marble the red. So where are you? Let's marble the green first. And I think I'm going to work from kind of side to side. Put in my horizontal lines first. Then I'll bring in some vertical lines. What this green is doing, though, which is kind of cool, is it's already doing its own kind of marbling effect because it's a, a metallic powder and it's already giving you this really cool effect. So that's kind of cool. Okay. Pretty good with the red. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, now let's bring in this gold. And I'm gonna kind of bring it through the areas that don't have any of the red. Doing the horizontal as well, but coming the other way. And now I'll do the vertical as well and bring it the other way. Okay, this one kind of broke up and gave me a spot, but that's okay. Okay, I'm gonna leave it sit, and then I'm gonna zap the gold with the um, torch. So come on over, and now we'll do the red. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do the green in horizontal lines. Which looks just great on this red. Yes, I see dust spot. Or hair, hair. Um, now let's do this vertically. Okay. Now let's bring in the gold. And we do the horizontal. Oops, I'm kind of going the same way, but that's okay. Now let's do the vertical. Uh, right in the middle there. Let's do that. Just a little bit. Okay, so let's leave these for a sec. I've got green and red that I can use in a mold. Or I mean gold and red. I may have a little green left too. We'll wait and see. Okay, so let's zap these with the torch. Not too much because it'll only heat it up and spread it out. So let's just quickly zap with the torch where my gold is because that is see how it's giving me it's separating and it's floating to the top which makes it look like molted gold and the rest seeks to the bottom which makes it looks like threads of gold okay I'm leaving that just the way it is and I will put, this is the, I will put Santa over on this side because it's not as creative over here. 
as it is, is much to look at over here. I'm going to heat that red up a little bit. That's kind of cool. There we go. Yeah, did you see some smoke? Yep. Yeah. Okay, now let's do this to the red, the gold over here on the red. And yeah, I'm going to do a bit of the green because this is, a, again, a powder. The green is a powder and it breaks up a bit better as well. And there we go. We've got the malted coming to the top and the thread-like going to the bottom in the gold. There we go. I like that. I like that. Okay, we are going to leave these just like this. I didn't heat them up too much, so they should not spread. So there you go. There's the gold marble. There's the red marble. Now, let's go over here. I wasn't going to do this with you, but that was a pretty short video. <clears throat> So, I, let's take you over. Let's do this one. I have a board that I almost screwed up by trying to color it in. So, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to use my squeeze bottle. And we are going to squeeze in, this is one of my boards that my wood guy made me. And it has this beautiful cutout here in a Christmas tree. And I tried to fill in the Christmas tree in green with the powder. And it just went everywhere. So, I'm going to fill in these spots with resin. And then where these nice little holes are, I'm putting in tiny little gems. I'm going to glue them in. But I want to fill the tree spot. And here I am taking off my gloves. So I'm putting one back on. And anything I blow, I can get a Q-tip and wipe off. But he did such a pretty design on this that I don't want to ruin it. So what I've already kind of screwed up, I can easily fix. Got to have a bit of a gentle touch with these squeeze bottles. If I had a lot of area to work with, that would be fine, but I don't. These are small cutouts. So what I do is I squeeze, and then I will take my long toothpick, and if it's not filling in, there. See? Then I just pull it. To where I need it because this will have a clear coat over top so even if that's not full full it will be with the clear so just squeeze to the best you can don't over squeeze it And then just use your toothpick to pull it into where you need it.
Okay. So, now, take the Q-tip, or not the Q-tip, toothpick, pull it where it's needed. Oh, I missed one little spot. There we go. So there you go. So now I'm going to let that cure. I can powder in the star. I can powder in the heart. And then, like I said, I'm going to put these pretty little beads in all those little holes. And I'll paint this broom. And then I'll do a half resin, clear resin over it. And leave the rest of the board to oil. So there you go. So, guys, that is it for today. I'm going to work on uh, cutting these pictures for these snow globes for the tree. And uh, pour the gold and the silver, or the gold and the red that I have left. And now some green into a Christmas mold that I have. Yes, I have a few. But hurry up, Moldy Moose, so I can get my other Christmas ornaments. Please. Okay, guys, so don't forget. Check out these amazing artists. Moon Cusher Art. Louise Singleton Creations. Kimberly's Art. If you need molds, unbelievable molds being created in the U.S. by Lee, Lee Crunch Creations and Philip Danner, and here in Canada, we've got Moldy Moose, and I'm going to add to that list because now there's, I know about Cat Rider. Uh, we gotta get her on the American one, and we have Mel here that I wanna get up on the Canadian one. So, there you go. So we did part A of two boards, and I won't bore you with the rest. It's just putting these in place. Like I said, I modge podged both sides because with paper, it has to be sealed completely or the resin will ruin it. So I modge podge both sides. I will put them on either in the center or at the top. We will see what I think of and then I'll clear coat that. I'm gonna spray paint the rings gold to go with the gold. We've got that board, Christmas tree board, curing, we're on the way. So, I am sorry I haven't been around a lot. I am around, and I will take you before my daughter moves in temporarily. I will take you on a tour and you can see how different everything looks over there. <laughs> clean it looks clean i painted everything looks great i love it i love it now i can't wait till they move out so i can enjoy it <laughs> but i'm gonna leave my studio here i'm not gonna you know what this is a cement floor on this side if it gets resin on it who cares it's just cement although i have put down a big tarp underneath me but if accidents happen right so there you go Okay, guys, you have a wonderful Tuesday evening. Have a fabulous rest of your week. To the Americans, and I try to stay out of all this, vote. Vote. You've got seven. Actually, really not seven because today's over. you got six more days, guys. Vote. Okay? Because it matters. And it matters to the rest of the world, believe it or not. I know... You don't understand that or you don't, well, don't, I didn't mean that. I know you understand it. It's hard to grasp why the rest of the world cares what goes on in the United States. But when we all do business with the United States and mostly us here in Canada who are right above you, um, it matters. So vote, guys. Have a great evening. Thanks for being here. Bye.